Hello Miss, we are from Group 1 and we are going to present our research paper about heat stress as an innovative approach to enhance the antioxidant production in pseudo oceanicola and bacillus isolates. There's going to be five points in this presentation. Now let's start with the introduction. <clears throat> this research is done due to a global need to replace synthetic antioxidants with natural ones because there is a potential carcinogenic effects found in the synthetic variant. The aim of this research is to increase the production of antioxidants in pseudo-ocinicola and bacillus isolates by applying heat stress. Next is the methodology. There is going to be four points in this part, and the first one is bacterial isolation and growth. The sample was collected from Saudi Arabia and carried using the M1 medium and stored in glycerol at minus 80 degrees Celsius. The sample is then split into three uh, parts and grow under different temperature, which is 36, 46, and 56 degrees Celsius. The next one is bacterial identification and phylogenetic analysis. For identification, the soils use a DNEZ ultrafine microbial kit by Kiagen and it is following the manufacturing instructions. For phylogenetic analysis, it is using the software MegaX. The next is test for heat tolerant isolates. There are four tests, which is determination of oxidative stress markers, determination of antioxidant metabolites, determination of overall antioxidant capacity, and determination of enzymatic antioxidant activities. The last one is statistical analysis. It is using a SPSS statistical package, and an ANOVA is made using the package, and a TOGIS test is used to separate the means. Each experiment was done at least three times. So now let's move on to the results. The researchers obtained 17 strains from Absatia Lake, but only four of them can withstand heat stress of 56 degrees Celsius. They are then further analyzed. The remaining 13 isolates were unable to withstand heat stress and were not further analyzed. The four strains were compared with the publicly available prokaryotic sequence databases. From the comparison, HT2 was found to be closely related to pseudo Oceanicola marinus, which can be seen in figure number one. HT1, HT3, and HT4 are closely related to Bacillus SPP, as can be seen in figure number two. During heat stress, some oxidative damage markers in the four isolates were observed and compared between control condition and heat stress condition. Under control condition, MDF values between all isolates were similar, no significant differences between them. After given heat stress treatment, the level of MDA in all isolates increase, and significant increase can be seen in HT3 and HT4 isolates. The oxygenase percentage in all isolates increase by heat stress, except in HT2 isolate, as can be seen in graph B. In graph C, we can see that centine oxidase percentage in all isolates increase after exposed to heat stress, even though it's not significant. The of the four heat tolerant bacterial isolates in terms of FREP, DBPH, and SOS under control and heat stress conditions are shown in the figure above. Increase in FREP capacity for HT3 and HT4 were exposed to heat stress. Significant capacity reduction for DBPH capacity for HT3 and HT4 when exposed to heat stress. And there is a significant capacity reduction in SOS capacity of HT4 when exposed to heat stress. The production rates of flavonoids and phenols by the selected isolates after heat stress exposure as compared to control condition was measured, as well levels of GSH including the reduced GSH, oxidized GSH, and total GSH formed in the figure. Heat stress causes an increase in flavonoid and phenol production, and HD only HD2 was shown to produce GSH. GSH production in HD2 increases tremendously when exposed to heat stress. The production of common antioxidant enzymes that directly scavenge ROS, namely CAT, SOD, GPX, and POX, were measured in the selected HT isolates under control and heat induced stress conditions in figure 6. CAT activity of isolates are similar at control conditions, however, vastly different when exposed to heat stress. SOD activity increases immensely when isolates are exposed to heat stress. GPS activity of HT2 and HT4 increases significantly, HT3 slightly increases, however, no effect in HT1 when exposed to heat stress. POX activity increases after heat stress exposure except HT3. The enzyme activities, which have reducing activities to the antioxidant metabolites, for example, GR, GRX, and TRD, for the four HT isolates are examined at control condition and heat stress. HT1, HT3, HT4 had no GR activity under control condition, however, heat stress improves GR activity of HT2, HT3, and HT4. GRX activity are only apparent in HT2. Heat stress increases the activity of the HT2 GRX activity. TRD activity only apparent in HT3 and HT4, which heat stress will significantly increases its activity. GST activity only apparent in HT2. Heat stress slightly decreases the HT2 activity. Hierarchical clustering graph consists of four main clusters based on their responses to heat stress. The first clusters consist of overall antioxidant activities, antioxidant metabolites, and antioxidant enzymes, which are high in HT2 under control conditions and sub subsequently increase under heated conditions. Second cluster consists of overall antioxidant activities, which are high in HT2 and HT4 in control conditions, high in HT1 under heated conditions. Third cluster consists of damage markers, antioxidant metabolites, and antioxidant enzymes, which are high in HT2, HT3, and HT4 under heated conditions. 
The fourth cluster consists of damage markers and antioxidant metabolites and antioxidant enzymes. This part will be brought by Andrik and Olive. As we said in the beginning, stress such as heat causes plants and microbes to elevate their antioxidant metabolism to prevent forming of free radicals. From the test, we learned that the four heat tolerant strains are less affected by oxidation as a result of high and increased antioxidant capacity, which are labeled as DPPH, FRAP, and SOS. And it, with every strain, it has a different effects uh, as written on the table. The antioxidant being metabolized are polyphenols, which is very effective on dealing with free radicals, flavonoid that is able to chelate or to make bonds with metal ions, and lastly, glutathione, which is exclusive to pseudo-oceanic water strain. Many studies reported that tolerance to heat stress is linked with an increase in antioxidant enzyme activities. Catalase, superoxide dismutase, glutathione peroxidase, and peroxidase are the antioxidant enzymes that are significantly increased in the strains. And it functions to scavenge reactive oxygen species directly. In this case, superoxide will be converted into hydrogen peroxide by superoxide dismutase. Then catalase and peroxidase trigger the conversion of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. There are also other factors contributing to counteracting the oxidative stress such as glutamine reductase activity, glutaredoxin and TRD as antioxidant reducing enzymes, and glutathionin as transferase as detox enzyme. However, glutamine reductase, glutaredoxin, and glutathionin as transferase can only be found in the pseudo oceanicola strain, which is HT2, with glutamine reductase and glutathionin as transferase being significantly improved in heat stress. Meanwhile, TRD in the bacillus strains such as HT3 and HT4 is significantly improved in heat stress. In conclusion, heat tolerant bacteria has great antioxidant metabolism during heat stress. Pseudo-Ocean strain, in particular, is a great GST producing bacteria during heat stress. That is why it is an innovative method to produce antioxidant and enzyme through HD bacteria that can be applied in many fields such as food field or medicinal field. Here is the reference. And thank you for listening.